next bit is actually doing the editing that we want on this mocap so you can see because of the size of the the skeleton and different body sh uh, shapes this is why you end up having to do some retargeting because you get um, clipping into body uh, I have a feeling I don't know that much about it but I have a feeling if we'd scaled the, the uh, Rococo skeleton to the size of this guy we would have had slightly less clipping um, but we can use we, this is where we can use the control rig to actually alter our uh, animations so we've got our takes and they're baked into the skeleton but there's nothing here and that's because there's nothing now we, we change essentially over to, to just um, the control rig so we want to bake to the control rig and now we can make our edits using the control rig um, if you zoom in super close and select one of these um, buttons you'll start seeing all of the uh, keys you don't really want to be editing that raw data the base animation you want to be using the layers so if I rename that and go left arm, create another one so left arm select that select that control and this is where you select your um, the gizmos I think in unity terms the gizmos for translation for rotation uh, you can use the same WER um, keys this is where you choose whether uh, you're in global or local space so you've got an option of additive so I tend to be in local space for this kind of stuff um, and S is the short cut for keying but you could I guess have auto key on if you click on that um, oh, control Z let me move and make sure I'm moving what I think I'm moving yeah. okay undo okay so the reason nothing's happening and I'm changing it I'm is because the mode I'm in here these are the so at the moment I'm literally just changing and rotating the selection just that control point what I probably want for this is body part so by doing that the whole of the body part is moving all your other options you've got kind of full body no pull manipulation so for example if I was doing a translation um, which doesn't make so much sense here but I'm moving it around and the body's not sh here not moving but if I do this one the full body then the whole body will come with me that's the Uh, the IK <coughs> so undo all of that show back to where I was so what I want is this um, just the, the body part and yep so essentially I've moved that out a little and S and you can see there's a key that's just appeared I'm going to go to the right, do the same, and 
this. Um, control space bar to automatically play or you can just press this. Yeah, so that's going to fix that body, the the arms. Maybe that one's a little bit out. Uh, and on, I mean that's essentially the process. And if you are having problems with other parts of the body, say the hands or whatever, do your animations on these layers, and it, it becomes cumulative. Um, you can change the layer mode, whether it's an override or additive. Very much like as you do in um, in Unity. Okay, so a bonus tip. Um, so that there's additional uh, keyframes on the control points that we've put onto layers. Uh, you can, I found, copy the layers across different takes, and it just makes it that much quicker. So you you've tweaked them all. Um, you know, maybe left and right shoulders. Uh, left and right hands um, if you go to another take that doesn't have um, those tweaks you can actually paste them in so go to the one where you've done the work and you've got the keyframes select all the layers copy and then move over to you know your other take the you know, the one that you haven't done any uh, work on yet and just literally just paste and so they the layers appear um, but it's actually not just the layers it's actually the layers and the keyframes get copied it might not seem it initially you, you actually have to move the um, the play ahead I found and then suddenly it kind of catches up with the keyframe uh, and yeah that's it so you, you really only have to do those kind of things like shoulder arm uh, tweaks just once um, and you can copy them over for all the other takes for that avatar for that character rig I mean that's pretty much it so I guess the next bit is so you've done that and you're happy with your um, you're happy with your change and at that stage um, what's on the control rig you want to plot it back onto the skeleton the only other thing I wanted to show was then how do you take this uh, after you've done all your tweaks and put them back into unity so you, the one thing you don't want is the skeleton definitions the control rig so just make sure you've selected you can delete that and your control rig delete that confirm and um, now you've got no actors nothing it's literally just your character if you um pretty oh. oh I didn't bake that one down I only literally I baked to pose just to oh, cancel this guy so you have to do it per for every single one of your takes that's the downside I guess of working with multiple takes you just need to be like quite methodical and remember what you're working through um, but for this one I guess it's just undo a few see this is where your hundred undos in theory come into it 
go back to control rig. So when you bake the skeleton, so we bake or plot the skeleton, it automatically gets rid of the control rig. Um, or deselects the control ring I should say. So now we've got take two, it's got our baked take one, it's got the baked. Um the these no longer needed, that's all gone because the data, the, the keyframes were on the control rig. We're not using that anymore. It got baked onto the skeleton, so those are essentially no longer required, but that doesn't get saved. Um, when you export, but if you're going to Unity, you definitely want to get rid of things like the control rig and the character definition itself. So we've got the character definition selected, delete that. Um, the control rig, select branches in case there's anything related, and delete. And if you want to be sure, do a clean up. So just some constraints that we didn't need. So now we've literally just got what Unity would expect, which is the root, or your, you know, the meshes, um, and the pose at the start. <laughs> And then there are two takes, the mocap take one and mocap take, you know, you would probably would rename that with new. Um, and file, save, save as, you know, whatever your policeman. Would be a traditional uh, the at with whatever your animation is, or uh, you know, would be at idles if you had lots of idle takes. Um, it's actually, see mocap for me, and and then that's it. I wouldn't recommend embedding the media; just keep it uh, out. And you definitely want the animation. You've got a choice here if you've got like some takes you've been doing some tests on you can choose to deselect them um, if you've been really like careful you could you know make sure that none of your cameras are selected the transport is what's going on in motion builder but I find it doesn't make any difference it's fine you can just save with everything selected and then that's it you've got um, an FBX that you can use in unity bit long-winded a bit rambling I'll try to do some editing on the video but it, it's useful for me just to talk through the process because I, I don't do this very often I kind of do it once every three to six months and I'm always forgetting all the different parts of the process so that's the usual some like a visual note for me but I hope it's useful to somebody like me who's coming from unity who has to to do this kind of work intermittently